What are the migration challenges that the EU will face in 2022? In our ICMPD Migration Outlook, researchers identified 12 migration issues to look out for in the year ahead. Number 1. The rise in irregular migration to the EU. Almost 200,000 illegal crossings were recorded at the external borders of the EU in 2021. This corresponds to an increase of 57% in comparison to 2020, and of 38% in comparison to 2019, the year before the COVID-19 pandemic struck. Driven by growing instability in major countries of origin and aggravated by the economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic, this trend is likely to continue in 2022. Number 2. Shifting pressures on the main migration routes. In reaction to increasing migration pressures, Greece closed its external borders and suspended the admission of asylum applications in early 2020. The strict Greek asylum policy apparently prompted irregular migrants and asylum seekers to switch to alternate routes. This trend is likely to continue in 2022, exacerbating the pressure on reception and migration management capacities in the Western Balkans and along the Central Mediterranean route. Number 3. The migration effects of the Taliban takeover. The Taliban takeover of Afghanistan and the rapidly growing humanitarian crisis in the country are likely to lead to additional displacement and outbound flows of refugees and migrants. According to initial assessments, another 500,000 Afghan refugees are expected to flee the country. The increasing numbers of asylum applications lodged by Afghan nationals in the second half of 2021 suggest that the EU will see arrivals increase in 2022 as well. Number 4. Growing tensions in Libya The continued presence of foreign armed forces and tensions over the presidential elections endanger the fragile state of stability in the country. Coupled with growing instability in sub-Saharan Africa and the political and economic challenges faced by neighboring Tunisia, these developments in Libya make it very likely that the scale of irregular migration along the central Mediterranean route will remain high or even increase in 2022. Number 5. Flare-up of the Syrian conflict Violence has continued throughout 2021 and hostilities have re-intensified for the first time since the ceasefire agreement of March 2020. The humanitarian situation has significantly worsened. Along with the economic downturn in Turkey, which is the major host of Syrian refugees globally, 2022 is likely to see increased primary and secondary movements of Syrians towards the EU. Already last year, the number of asylum applications lodged by Syrian nationals in an EU member state was 71% higher than in 2020 and 46% higher than in 2019. Number 6. The reorientation of migration flows from Latin America. In recent years, asylum seekers from Latin American countries, especially Colombia and Venezuela, ranked high in European Union apprehension statistics. In 2020, their number declined. The drop in applications is believed to be the result of fewer flight connections to Europe and increased movement towards the United States. Envisaged policy changes announced by the new US administration appear to have sparked hopes for a more liberal stance towards migrants and refugees and prompted a reorientation of related flows from European destinations to the US. Number 7. The continued impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on migration. The pandemic has increased economic pressures on large parts of the overall population in low-income countries, but also on the migrant and refugee populations residing within their borders. Uneven economic recovery is likely to fuel irregular migration again in 2022. This assumption is supported by developments observed in 2021, such as the increase of irregular flows from North African countries, secondary movements of Syrian and Afghan nationals from Turkey and Iran, or the sharp increase of irregular arrivals from Latin America at the southern border of the United States. Number 8. The EU response to the instrumentalization of irregular migrants. The instrumentalization of migration is not a new phenomenon. The deliberate creation of a migration crisis at the EU's external borders, however, added a dimension different from previous instances. 
The EU's swift, unified and robust response in cooperation with non-European partners halted this scheme. But the situation will remain volatile in 2022, and thousands of migrants are left in a state of limbo, with their lives and well-being in imminent danger. Number 9. The presidential elections in France and the French presidency of the EU. Euroscepticism is widespread among the French electorate and the majority of candidates, and is linked to a tougher stance on immigration and the wish to repatriate power from the EU to the member states. The elections will also influence the implementation of the French presidency programme, as it pertains to migration. The programme focuses on reforming the Schengen area and continuing the work on asylum and migration. It emphasises the need to better address the instrumentalisation of migration and to prevent irregular migratory flows within the Schengen area. Number 10. New accents in Germany's migration policy. The new government's coalition agreement contains an extensive chapter on migration. It calls for a restart on Germany's migration and integration policy to reflect the stance of a modern immigration country. Amongst other things, the coalition agreement calls for a strengthening of functioning partnership agreements with non-EU countries following a holistic approach and including economic cooperation, visa facilitation, skills transfers, job platforms and cooperation on the reintegration of rejected asylum seekers. Moreover, the coalition agreement is committed to reforming the European asylum system and ensuring a fair sharing of responsibility and solidarity. Number 11. Renewed attempts to address secondary movements. The issue of secondary movements of asylum seekers among member states has been high on the European agenda for years. Internal border controls were a much debated issue in the EU before, with the European Commission and several member states insisting that such controls must remain the exception. This debate will presumably continue throughout 2022. Number 12 labour shortages and the discussion on legal migration channels. The European Union has entered a period of demographic ageing. By 2050, the share of the EU population of working age will shrink by 37 million. Current labour shortages might be less severe than portrayed in the media, and much can be done through upskilling, higher wages and better working conditions. But European labour markets will remain tight in 2022 and beyond, intensifying the debate on ways to fill immediate shortages and to cope with long-term labour market demands. This might give renewed impetus to the further development of instruments such as the EU's talent partnerships and to overall cooperation with non-EU countries on labour migration issues.